The cold weather has many people wanting to stay inside, even some cars. Well, a charging station just north of Chicago was full of electric car owners waiting for a spot to open, but many of them ended up being towed away before it could happen. A Parkland program director says even a supercharge won't be enough against these cold temperatures if you wait too long. WCI3's Ariana Williams joins us live. Ariana, what's the issue with electric vehicles in this cold? Electric cars need extra time for a charge in the cold. However, if you let it go too low, it simply won't be strong enough to hold it. Being happy means being warm, just like us. And uh, right now, these batteries are not happy. They say electric cars are a good choice to make for the environment. But are the recent weather patterns good for them? Batteries in people don't like to move when it's cold and neither do electrons in a car's battery. Cold weather causes EV batteries to die much faster than they would in warmer temps. So much, it can temporarily reduce the driving range by 20 to 25 percent. Electric vehicles are designed to have a method for keeping their batteries warm and that takes a lot of energy. So I've been actually turning my heat down to kind of keep it going longer distances. First time EV owner Connor Comrod says this was something that had him worried. Because a tow bill is expensive, getting stranded in, in electric vehicles a little bit more because once it shuts down, that's it. But program director David Charney says it simply takes some forward thinking, much of which the car does for you. It's a little bit alarming, but you know, it just reminds me if I just got to do a good job, make sure my car is doing okay, listen to it, look at my phone, make sure it's charging the way it's supposed to, and that everything is a-okay. Charney says the charging incident in Chicago that left many drivers stranded without charge is a good example of why not to let your car's battery get dangerously low in the winter. If the car's range is low, they need to charge. And I would say that um, right now with the conditions the way they are, I wouldn't want to see their car get any lower than 15% for a charge percentage. So that way you've got a little bit of cushion in case something goes wrong. He says using a level two charger will bring the energy needed at a slower rate, but be prepared to have a full charge within four to eight hours. He says the batteries start functioning at 100% when it reaches 60 degrees or above. Back to you. All right, Ariana, thank you. He also says electric car owners should always pay attention to battery warnings given by the vehicle. You should pre-plan your trips with the car's energy range in mind and leave enough charge, more than 15% in case of an emergency.